On July 16, 1990, Baguio City was bustling with life. Residents and tourists filled the streets. Markets were lively, and the cool mountain air carried the sounds of everyday routines. Surrounded by pine-covered hills, the city exuded a sense of peace and security. Yet, beneath this tranquil surface, an unimaginable event was about to unfold, one that would forever alter the city's history. Far below Luzon, a complex network of geological faults, including the Digdig -Dig Fault, a significant branch of the Philippine fault system, was silently accumulating stress. Over centuries, tectonic plates pressed and shifted, storing immense energy deep underground. This tension, hidden from view, would only reveal itself in a moment of sudden upheaval, reminding us of the risks faced by those living above these restless faults. At 4.26 p.m., the city's calm was shattered. The ground convulsed with unexpected violence, catching everyone by surprise. In seconds, buildings toppled, roads split, and panic swept through the population. The familiar landscape was transformed as chaos erupted, forcing residents to scramble for safety amid the devastation. Baguio bore the brunt of the earthquake's fury. The Hyatt Terraces Hotel, once a symbol of luxury, collapsed in moments, trapping guests and staff beneath tons of debris. Other landmarks, including the Christian College and Nevada Hotel, also fell, deepening the tragedy. Across the city, buildings failed under the relentless tremors, leaving hundreds trapped in overwhelming first responders as they raced to find survivors. The destruction extended far beyond the city center. Landslides thundered down slopes, swallowing homes and cutting off vital roads. Isolated communities faced the disaster alone as infrastructure crumbled, making rescue and relief efforts even more challenging. The earthquake's reach disrupted thousands of lives and left the region struggling to recover. In the immediate aftermath, confusion and fear gripped the city. Survivors picked their way through debris, searching for loved ones. Fires broke out, casting a harsh glow over the ruins as emergency crews rushed to respond. Hospitals quickly filled beyond capacity, and the community confronted the full scale of the catastrophe. Amidst the turmoil, acts of bravery and compassion shone through as neighbors supported one another in the darkest hours. Rescue operations began swiftly, drawing teams from across the nation and the world. These responders faced unstable rubble, scarce resources, and persistent aftershocks as they worked tirelessly to save lives. Each moment was precious. While some were miraculously rescued, many families endured heartbreaking losses. The efforts revealed both the fragility and resilience of those affected. The devastation left a lasting mark on Baguio and central Luzon. Hundreds perished, thousands were injured, and entire neighborhoods lay in ruins. Families crowded into temporary shelters, and the loss of infrastructure brought daily life to a halt. The economic impact was immense with businesses shuttered and recovery costs mounting. Rebuilding would require time, determination, and collective resolve. At the heart of this disaster was the sudden rupture of the Dig Dig Fault, a segment of the Philippine Fault Zone. When the built-up stress finally overcame the resistance of the rocks, a rapid slip unleashed tremendous seismic energy. Baguio's proximity to the fault, combined with its steep terrain and vulnerable soils, intensified the destruction highlighting how natural and human factors combined to magnify the city's vulnerability. Subsequent investigations exposed a troubling reality. Many buildings were not designed to withstand such powerful shaking. Weak construction materials, insufficient reinforcement, and poor enforcement of building codes all contributed to the catastrophic collapses. The tragedy underscored the urgent need for rigorous safety standards and strict oversight to better protect communities in the future. Determined to recover, Baguio took decisive action. Building codes were strengthened, and seismic retrofitting became a priority to ensure greater resilience in new and existing structures. Memorials and annual commemorations were established to honor those lost, and to keep the lessons of the disaster alive for future generations. Through these measures, the city demonstrated its commitment to building back stronger and safer. Still, the danger has not passed. The Philippine fault system remains active, with segments like the Marikina Valley Fault near Metro Manila continuing to accumulate stress. Their proximity to densely populated areas means the risk of another major earthquake is ever present. Scientists monitor these faults closely, 
but predicting exactly when they might rupture is impossible. Ongoing vigilance and preparedness are crucial to reducing the threat posed by these hidden forces. Warnings about a potential disaster, often referred to as the big one, have been issued for Metro Manila, where millions live above active faults. Experts warn that a rupture could bring catastrophic loss of life and widespread destruction. This looming risk highlights the importance of robust emergency planning, regular earthquake drills, and resilient construction. Staying informed and prepared is key to minimizing harm when the next earthquake strikes. The 1990 Luzon earthquake left deep scars across the Philippines, but it also offered critical lessons. It showed the necessity of preparedness, strong infrastructure, and community awareness in facing seismic threats. As the country remains vulnerable to future earthquakes, the experiences of Luzon should continue to guide efforts to build a safer, more resilient nation.